Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today is part two of our beginner series of five lessons, and we're going to talk about the setup today. Last lesson, the first one was on the grip, today the setup. I have some terminology I like to use with my beginners. I like to use the word gap, grip, aim, posture, and that's just a good word to remember. You want to do your grip first and aim then your posture and your ball position and, and that way it kind of gives you a process to begin with until you develop your own routine. All right, aim, aim and posture are so important. I want you to understand that 90-95% of what you're going to do in your swing is dictated by how well you set up. So we need to make sure we get this correct and that we do it consistently the same every time and not have a lot of different setups. So it's very important. And as you go through your golfing career, you need to make sure that before you start checking your swing to see what the faults are, make sure your grip and your setup are spot on before you even dive into that because it's usually in, in the setup and the posture and the grip. All right, so you'll see here I got rods on the ground. Great players, great amateur players. We practice this way because aim is a very difficult thing to do. So because right eye dominant, left eye dominant, everybody's a little bit different in how they see things, so put them down. I got this one here for my club face where that's where I want the ball to go. And then my feet are gonna be parallel to the target, like a railroad track, not pointing at the target, but parallel left of the target. Okay, so got that down here, and I also like to put one out here in front so I can see my club face pointing at that. That's straight ahead. The more visuals, the better. All right, let's dive right into this, how we do it. I've got a pitching wedge. I got my feet about shoulder width apart, toes slightly flared out, get a little bit of knee flex. My weight is 50-50 on my feet. It's not on my toes, it's not on my heels. We need to be balanced. Hinge my hips back, which keeps my back relatively straight. My hands are gonna hang down. That's where I'm gonna grip it. And then here's a great checkpoint. I highly recommend you doing this when you begin. Extend your thumb out, ball it up in the fist. That's how far you should be standing from it. Okay, also too, you want to make sure we're not up like this. You want your hands hanging naturally. Generally speaking, this is a good spot to like have the butt end of the club pointing at your uh, at your belt buckle here. You know, that's that's just not a natural position there. You want your hands hanging naturally, okay? So having all this correct, my chin up a little bit, 50-50 here, upper body somewhat loose. You can see everything's lined up correctly. That's very important we have all those, the hips, the feet, and the shoulders all square. And I'm going to show you from this angle how we get into those correct positions so your shoulders are square or pointing in the same direction as our feet and hips. Because that, that usually, I tell you what, I start with that. More times than not, amateurs are not lined up correctly as far as their body in the same spot. I mean, it, you'd be amazed but it's just something that, and I'm gonna explain why here in a second, but I tell you what, it really affects how you swing. So we need to make sure we get these points down. So I'm gonna change it over to the other angle here and we're gonna take a look at how to do that. Okay, I wanna talk about that checkpoint again. I wanted to mention to you, you know, we've got this distance here. So this is so important to do because as you change clubs, there's a big difference in length. So what happens to a lot of amateurs when they start out, they want to reach and reach and reach for it with the longer clubs and this relationship should be the same. You know, that distance there from the body should be very consistent throughout your whole set of clubs. So I wanted to reiterate that because it is very, very important that you get that uh, in your system of how to set up. Okay, so I got a pitching wedge here. Pitching wedge is going to be in the center of the stance, ball position wise, and then like a five iron because it's longer, you can see the length there. It's gonna be in between center and left heel, okay? So we're gonna work our way up in the stance towards the left heel as the clubs get longer. The driver, the driver or three wood, because they're a lot longer, it's gonna be inside the left heel, okay, for ball position. And the reason that is, the reason why we change the ball position when we set up is the length of the clubs, as you swing, it takes it longer for it to come around the straight when they get longer. So that's why we have to move it forward in the stance. Get that question a lot. It's a really good question. Why, do, why should I change the ball position? Because of the length of the clubs. 
Okay, so let's go right into the setup here. Feet are right underneath my shoulders, toes slightly flared out, strong knee flex, hinge my hips back, hands hanging naturally. Okay, and what I want my point of emphasis here for you is I want you to see this. When you set up, there needs to be a little lateral move with your hips, just a little bit towards the target, and that's gonna bump your left hip up a little higher than your right, and then your right shoulder is gonna be down from your left because your right hand is below your left hand. So this should happen. And then also your left eye will be on the back part of the flange here. It's not gonna be on the ball, okay? And you can see everything's in alignment. My head, my spine, everything's there. We're not too much this way, we're not too much that way, okay? And this is gonna affect the swing getting properly set up like this. It's also, it's what I was showing the other position, when I get this little angle in my, my legs and then my shoulders, it gets everything square. Everything's pointing the same direction. It seems like nine out of 10 students have been playing a little bit when they just started and they're struggling. Their setup is usually the grip's off, you know, their distance from it's off, and then almost every time their body alignment is not correct, meaning you will see this with a lot of people because they're trying to stay square with their setup like this and their shoulders will be wide open compared to their feet. And I tell you what, you cannot swing from that position so that's why it's important to get these points of emphasis on the setup correct. And you can do this at home. Look in a reflection of a mirror, just practice it over and over again. Look at yourself, you know, take the club once you're set up here and go like this to see if you're lined up correctly. You know, just, just take the time to make this very, very important because it is important instead of just swinging it. So for more great videos and vlogs and blogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.